Christmas Day, so I hope you guys had a good Christmas. So I am doing a Christmas vlog because I've had many questions, because I'm vegan, I think, what are you having for Christmas dinner? So I thought that I will vlog. I was gonna do it when up to Christmas and show you guys what I got like on my food orders, etc. But I thought I'm just gonna do it on Christmas. So as you could see from the beginning of the video, we have just had a Christmas walk. We got up early for the sunrise. So that was really nice. We've just got home and I'm going to make a hot chocolate. To make a vegan hot chocolate, you need some hot chocolate, obviously. And this is the Cadbury drinking chocolate, swirl it into hot milk. Then you need some milk, and I use soya milk. And then we're gonna mix them together. And then on top of your hot chocolate, you need obviously some whippy cream, and you can get vegan whipped cream. And then marshmallows, and you can get marshmallows without any gelatin in. Um, and these are the Dandy's vanilla mini marshmallows. have a vegan hot chocolate on Christmas. <sighs> Preheating, and I've got a list of what needs to go in first, etc. So, yesterday I prepped all the vegetables so carrots, cauliflower, broccoli, and the roast potatoes. So, that is all prepped ready to go. And yesterday I prepped the Yorkshire pudding batter mix ready for today so I didn't have to worry about doing it. And it's gone all nice and thick. So instead of using egg for the Yorkshire puddings, you just use an egg replacer and this is Easy Vegan Egg and you can use it for different things and it's literally just one teaspoon of it. That's it. It was so easy to make. And then for our actual meat part of the meal, we've got some vegan cocktail sausages, plant kitchen festive roast by Marks and Spencers. So that's what it was. And that's what it should look like after. And then the actual roast itself so i'm really excited to try this that is the festive roast and it comes with gravy like i said but i'm not going to be using that gravy i'm going to be using the gravy that i know and for afters got this chocolate tort um and again it's vegan and some plant cream which is really good i tried that on sunday and then if we wanted some more we have got some vegan ice cream to go with it and then we also have for the weeks coming up some vegan fudge cake and these are from Iceland and they are the no mood chocolate puddings and these are really good and churros we had these last night they're so good it says vegetarian but there's no milk or egg inside so they are vegan as well so we've got loads of cheese so we've got some soft cheese and then some cheddar style cheese and then some sliced cheese here ready for cheese crackers and then obviously some pickle in the cupboard as well so we've got that also and then yesterday, ready for tomorrow's Boxing Day buffet, I prepared some 
vegan potato salad. Yum, yum, yum. And we had some yesterday with our Christmas Eve buffet and it was so good. And then I also prepared some vegan coleslaw. And again, it's really, really good. So yeah, this is my first meat-free slash vegan Christmas. And I thought it was gonna be really hard, if I'm honest. And I think Sam thought it was gonna be hard as well, but it's actually been super easy. You can get everything vegan that I would normally have on Christmas day. And if not more, I had so much more options and so many ideas that I wanted to do. And um, you can get creative and make it your own as well. I can still have my favorite wine Christmas as well. This is some sparkling Asti and it's sweet and it's the only wine that I drink. I've got work tomorrow so I can only have a glass or two. Thanks, Sam. Whack! Yorkshire puddings have just gone in, so everything in the oven is in the oven, and we've got half an hour to go. So the veg is just starting to heat up. Peas will take five seconds. Gravy and plates, etc., is ready to go. I've cleaned up, organised. The only thing that I need to do is pop the pigs in blankets in and they take 15 minutes. So in 15 minutes I'll pop them in and then everything is done. So that is Christmas dinner done. Honestly, that was amazing. I'm so impressed with myself. It beats last year for sure. And for the people that follow me on Instagram, they would know that last Christmas is where it all started off. I had a turkey from Marks and Spencers and it was pink in the middle, I believe, after hours of it in the oven. And it kind of was like a light bulb moment that I realized that I was eating a dead animal and not a turkey because I had separated the two things in my mind. And that is where it all started. And I went vegetarian on the 30th of December. And then the 28th of January is when my year anniversary of being vegan is. We're gonna chill for a bit and then I will do dessert because we are stuffed. And then yeah, we're gonna chill. I've got work tomorrow morning, so I can't drink anymore. Um, it's already gone to my head, I'm so red. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys when I'm dishing up dessert. So I've showered, makeup is off. I'm in my comfy clothes. Now I'm ready to chill for the afternoon before going to work tomorrow morning. I've got to be up at four, start work at five, and then I've got 10 days off. So then I will be properly celebrating. But for now, me and Sam will be chilling. Won't be Sammy? Of course you bloody will. So that is dessert, a vegan chocolate top with some ice cream and some plant cream on top. much it Christmas Day and Boxing Day done our first vegan Christmas slash Boxing Day was a success really happy really surprised how easy it was and um, if you're thinking of going meat free or just trying vegan maybe do go and try out Veganuary 
which is happening obviously the 1st of January. Sign yourself up. It's getting easier and easier as more companies, etc., are bringing out products. So do give it a go. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you have. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you are new and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.